Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at the MG Performance Center. Thanks so much, special thanks for having us here today. And we are here in the new E-Class. This is 2024, all new Mercedes E-Class and here in AMG line. So in this video we will check out the exterior interior, also the infotainment system and also the practicality of the all new generation of the E-Class. So let's start. All right, so let's start with the front part of the exterior. So here we have the all new E-Class, the all new generation. And let me know in the comments how do you like this new design. So we have new headlights, also the grille and front bumper is redesigned. And also the side of the car is differently shaped than previously. So it looks very sleek and great as a business sedan, in my opinion. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. So here you can see the spec sheet of this car. This is 2.0 liter diesel formatic version. Also available is six cylinder petrol. So let me know your choice. This is a price with a tax 20%. And in Europe, the E-Class starts about 65,000 euros. With some specs, we are looking at about 75 with tax. So around that price, this particular car is pretty loaded, about 30,000 euros of uh, specs. So very, very loaded. And this paint is a velvet brown metallic. Really, we will see shortly how this car looks. Uh, a little bit of the sunshine will hit the side of the car, so we will check this as well. So here you can see the AMG line. I also filmed the exclusive line video of the new E-Class, so make sure to check that as well. This has illuminated grille, so around the side of the grille is a LED stripe. And also we have here the night package. You can see here the new headlights. They have like a two wave design on the lower section and one eyebrow and also here we have the new aving design for the amg line so looks much more sporty than the exclusive line and here we have the digital light technology the best one which you can get for mercedes-benz currently and cut out the ongoing traffic and overall is the best available right now so seeing in person the exclusive line and also the amg line first i was preferring the exclusive line but i think Right now, I prefer more this AMG line. Also, here we have the starts on the side of the front bumper and also the air curtains, which redirect the air around the side of the vehicle. And also in the grille, we can see the Mercedes stars, as it's usual with the new Mercedes models. We have this new pattern. Before, we had the diamond grille. So in the front is Mercedes badge and underneath, we have the radar which gives us the control over the assistance systems and it's more precise judging the distance. And here is also camera for 360 view above the badge. So you will get the high definition cameras. We will check this in the interior as well. And also we have night package, so it darkens the trim between the A-wings as well. And also the EQ-like design of the front grille, which connects the headlights and the grille itself, is always in gloss black. So let me know your, th your thoughts in the comment section down below. And here is a close-up of this paint, velvet brown. It's sort of like this, I would say, rose gold and brown. Uh, if, the, if you put them together, this is sort of like a shade which you will get, I think. So very interesting to see this um, outside in full sunlight. That would be very, very cool to see. So with the new E-Class, we can get 18 inch, 19 inch, 20 inch, and these, which are the 21 inch for the first time on the E-Class. They look very large from the side, as you can see here. And these are Continental tires, Eco Contact 6Q MO, Mercedes original. Around the rim is in gloss black, the aero rim. So these are 245, 35, R21 YXL and here is AMG engraved for the AMG line on the wheels. So let me know how to like this. We have also perforated brake discs with Mercedes-Benz um, silver calipers. And here are the mirrors in gloss black. I think it goes very nicely together with the paint, but also you can get it with chrome if you want then you don't want to pick the night package. So without the night package, we are looking at more elegant version. So here is the sun hitting the paint. Let me know what the thing. It has this sort of like a gold hue to it. So um, yeah, from certain angles, it has a gold tint to it, uh, like you can see here. Very, very cool to check out this paint, velvet brown. 
yeah, to me this is like a rose gold and brown put together, something like that. So I think many people will like this color, but we will see in uh, reality how many people will order a color like this one. So the rear R275 30R21Y XL, so wider at the back because this is a rear bias setup for the new E-Class. And when we open the fuel tank cover, we can check out that we have here the diesel and AdBlue. This is only for the diesel. And here we have many tire size and also the tire pressure, which you should use for the certain tire sizes. So now let's check out the back, which has also some new changes with the new E-Class. So the predominant change, which you can see here, are the tail lamps and also the exhaust tips, which are now larger. They are cosmetic together with the diffuser and lights have a brand new design. They are connected in the middle, like we see in the latest Mercedes models, uh, with the material which is similar to the material which you can find on the tail lamps. These have also very specific design with the Mercedes stars as LEDs. The whole car has very slick design, if you take a look from the back, and very business-like uh, design. So I find this car modern and also attractive. Let me know your thoughts once again in the comment section down below. So here we have the stars from the LEDs. They form a shape uh, of a Mercedes star. The engine version is on the left side. In the middle we have the Mercedes star. And on the right side we have a formatic if it's uh, equipped with the vehicle. So here is this black part of the lights in the middle, but it's not lighting up. And here is once again close up for the Mercedes lights. They are sort of like a 3D. If you take a look from the side, you can see here that they are very 3D-like and very thick also to the side. So you can see they are very 3D oriented. All right, so now let's open the hood and check out the engine bay. So here we have the 2.0 liter diesel engine. This is paired with the 9G Tronic, 9 gear transmission, well known from Mercedes. Here is also a lever to secure the hood. So this engine produces 197 horsepower and 23 horsepower from the hybrid unit. So this is a mild hybrid version. And also we have a plug-in hybrids and also the six cylinder version available. So let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section down below. So now let's check out the interior. Here we have the pop-up door handles, same as in the new S-Class. And here is the interior with the super screen. You can get also a version without the passenger display. That one would be not a super screen. So this is the super screen. Let me know which one is your favorite option in the comment section down below. I didn't see yet the version without the super screen, so I cannot really tell you which is my favorite. Also, we can see the panoramic sunroof. You will check this in detail as well. And you can see these beautiful white seats, Neva gray leather, very, very nice put together with this velvet brown. I think it goes very well together. And here we can see the view from the passenger side, how it looks together with the door panel of a driver door as well and here is ultra wide view of the seats as well and this is how the front look from the back let me know how to like this and here is also wide angle in the front how it looks from the back let me know your thoughts all right guys so this is how i would uh, more or less sit in the car but here for my right leg uh, this is actually very nicely curved so i have here uh, very comfortable for my right knee, which I find uh, really something uh, what is a little bit bothering me in the new C-Class, for example. I can sometimes feel the harsh edge, but here it's very soft. So this is very cool that it's smooth in here uh, as well. So it's much more comfortable for a right leg. For my left leg, uh, it's also nice here, smooth, and uh, lots of space basically here in the new E-Class. So currently we are charging uh, the new E-Class because uh, yeah, probably many people were interested in the new E-Class so they were checking out the infotainment. So yeah, in this video we will check out the interior as well, the gather uh, as well as the infotainment. First I want to show you the view of the car which you get uh, when you have this like cocoon in terms of the ambient lighting. Check it out, how the light stripe is uh, like circling 
around the front area. So it uh, starts here in the doors and continues there all the way in terms of the ambient stripe. Here we have the heads-up display and all new AMG line Super Sport steering wheel together with the latest MBUX system. And this one is also brand new because it has these uh, new infotainment icons which we'll check as well together. And here we have also something what is called the super screen. So before in some models we had a hyper screen and this one is a super screen. So it's very easy to differentiate these two uh, because the driver screen here is like uh, not connected with other display so it's like a separated and you can also see the angle here so it has a more upright angle and therefore it's easier to check out the information here on the driver screen so personally I prefer this to the hyper screen from the view of the driver you don't really see that it's uh, disconnected you can see this only a little bit if we don't have the super screen then we have here more uh, of a trim so you can get here like a wood rim or different trims so that's also something uh, what you can consider then you have the central display and the driver screen so you have two displays then also here we can see the cameras so you can use this camera for zoom calls or make selfies and we will try this as well and yeah this is the new super sport AMG line steering wheel also get one more which is more elegant one and this is the new one with capacitive buttons and uh, I think you will get used to this uh, rather quickly and yeah it's true that you need to get used to this more than the, uh, the ones which were previously with the physical buttons so I still prefer physical buttons but it's not that big of a deal as some people uh, would say well, to me at least so try for yourself and check out here is amazing uh, interior here we have the white leather and here you can see the up close uh, of the steering so you can see the buttons here you can set the cruise control here this tronic we have full assistance system package here also on the left side we have a controls for the lights so parking lights auto full headlights and also you can release the parking brake here unfortunately okay so we can maybe for the review we don't need this hi mercedes so it doesn't work now okay all right so here we have memory seats three positions a heated seats ventilated seats as well can you hear the ventilated seats also you can lock unlock the car and you can see also here the speaker for the boardmaster surround sound system and also here in the doors you can also open the trunk here with this button and you have some space for storage as well so overall really nice I really like this new interior I quickly got used to this so uh, yeah very very cool in the middle here we have this beautiful uh, black uh, wood decor you can open this and then you have uh, cup holders check it out adjustable as well you can close it like this this one is fixed here but also adjustable and then we have here two USB-C ports illuminated and one of charger for your phone I think you can also yeah you can remove this if you want but there is a charging pad as well so maybe if you want to clean this for example and then you can close the whole middle tunnel then we have beautiful trim so this one is the Neva gray and black combination Napa leather so uh, genuine leather very nice quality I have to say when I touch it here and also we have a perforation for the ventilation of the seats and check out the holes here are smaller and in the middle they are larger so it shows is like a 3d effect uh, of it of the diamond stitching really really cool you can also see it better from the distance also the front headrest you can move this as well the angle forwards and backwards so yeah seats are really comfortable and yeah not much to say about this very very cool in terms of the comfort so you can also see from distance how this looks and I also really like how the vents air vents are integrated here in the dashboard so you can really see them you can change a little bit here the angle full fully like before but it's sort of like a hidden also here you can I assume open close with these so it's very nicely um, integrated here 
uh, what I really like. And in the middle you can see the chrome line uh, there as well. So here on the passenger screen you can have different content. You need to sit here as a person to control it or you can put like a screen saver there. So overall here on the top we can see the mirror with the light as well, cosmetic mirror. And also here the grab handle in the doors. So here on the top you can see the panoramic sunroof, you have controls here for the sunroof and also buttons for the lights and SOS button, uh, which is here. So if you press, it will show you the button itself, so it's like a hidden. And you press this if you want to be connected to emergency services, like a 911 or a 112 in Europe. And you can also see the buttons for the doors here, and the Mercedes Me button this is like an assistance uh, as well and the light buttons, uh, basically if you touch the light it will turn on. And you can also open the sunroof here, so you can open it here on the ventilation, and you can also open it fully, so check it out. The roof window is also tinted, and you can have it open like this. Also the back one is separated from the front one, and uh, that one cannot be opened, but you can have still the sunshade here in the back so that's very nice and we can see the illuminated panel with ambient lights so overall really really cool looking uh, new layout uh, of the e-class i'm a big fan of this also here in the middle we have an armrest so if you press here it will open and you have a usb-c port illuminated as well and some storage space is reasonably deep and on the top we have black nappa leather also great stitching and quality for this so yeah very cool this is also illuminated uh, around the central panel with ambient lights so yeah very nice glove compartment you can see it's quite large in some storage space and you can close it here with the blade of the key fob talking about the key fob here is the key fob you can see the new mercedes style key fob with black in the middle and chrome on the sides and here in the back it's black if you have amg in the back has amg lettering as well has nice nice heft to it this key so yeah very nice so in terms of the infotainment system here if you press home button you can choose from different screens here so you have a classic one then you have the sport one you can swipe like this then we have the navigation assistance and service i believe you can also set here in the settings the sound for this we can probably leave it on on the normal okay so that's what i like this amount of the sound so here we have the service assistance navigation classic and sport so here you can see the sport one, you have g-force and engine data and also you have a kilowatts and newton meters which are using then we have the classic one so here you can change what is in the middle if you swipe here odometer uh, consumption from reset from start eco display consumption attention assist music navigation and odometer then we have the navigation so here you can see the navigation, you can also zoom in and zoom out. Then assistance, so here we can see the assistance systems, the car can recognize the car in front. Then we have the service, and you can see the next service, at blue range, this is only for the diesel, and coolant temperature, engine oil level as well. And this car also, as a first one, can overtake automatically uh, on the highway if the car in front is uh, slowing is slower than the set speed can overtake when the lane next to the car is actually free so that's pretty cool as well so that's in terms of the screens then if you swipe up you can see the heads up display currently we can maybe see a little bit all right so here we can see the heads up display so you can see the sport one standard settings so you can see it here uh, how it will look, minimal sport one, then we have the standard settings and you can turn it off. In settings you can change the brightness 
and also you can see their brightness and also the level up and down you can move this all right so i think that's it in terms of the screens infotainment screen for the driver display i think this one is my favorite the classic one and here you can see the volume you can pick up and take the call and here you have home button so you can also control the central screen here uh, on the steering wheel so that's also a possible so that's pretty nice in the lower section under the display here you can see the dynamic so that's for the driving modes so if you press here okay we need to turn this on so here we have the eco display comfort sport and individual we, can, we need just to turn this off because it was blowing on the microphone okay here we have hazard lights uh, button for the parking cameras so here we have the front camera image you can also make it wider then we have the rear you can also make it wider then we have the side so you can see the rims and also from different side and uh, you can leave it on auto uh, as well then we have car settings so here you can see quickly heads up display 3d driver display manual shifting acoustic warning park turning active line keeping assist and other shortcuts uh, this one is new one for the europe so this basically will um, give you acoustic warning if you go over the speed limit so you can turn this off as well it will be turned on automatically after every start what you can also do is you have here the quick shortcut so you can tap here and it will turn off so check it out you can leave it on or off very easily actually so that's pretty cool also what you can do is you can press here and hold and the mute button and it will turn it off there check it out you can also see it here settings changed so if you don't want to use this feature you can turn this off and uh, it's pretty easy to turn it off i didn't really try this yet but uh, yeah i will do that when i will try the car also in glc coupe is this in all new homologated cars uh, so yeah here if you press the 3d button then you have a 3d display same as in the new s class so it's filtered down to new e class which is uh, very very nice we have also individual mode i wanted to mention this here in the individual mode if you press these settings you can change uh, what you have there so drive can be comfort or eco or sport uh, then steering we can have a comfort or sport esp we can have comfort sport and sound comfort and sport so we have also like a sport uh, sound here uh, which is nice to see also the buttons are like a larger i have to say the home button and also skip menu this is for the ac menu so you have digital vent control you can control it here uh, as well second row of seats and also the air quality so very nice animations uh, as well fresh recirculated air mode and you can have this standard or the classic one or zero layer zero layer basically has navigation here and the most used stuff has on the lower section and also settings there so you can switch between the zero layer or classic one the classic one has new icons here in the e-class and also the new cle navigation form radio media is also a little bit different uh, in terms of the icons and how it's set it up so this is the latest uh, mbux system so you have a navigation here which we know from the s-class and other new uh, vehicles from mercedes-benz very nicely done the map and also the navigations then we have phone you can connect two phones actually then we have radio favorites uh, fm dab digital radio and uh, check out the animations here very very cool 
Uh, then we have media. So here we have online music. You need to connect your phone here, or you have USB, a Bluetooth. You can see the devices with interaxis. Pretty cool to see here. Uh, then we have apps. So this is new. Then we have here the Mercedes Me weather pairs shuffle pack. These are like games. License info, Sudoku, Energizing Coach, Camera. So, did I click or is it? Yeah, I need to probably touch. Okay. So, insert storage medium into the USB port to start recording. So, you can see here the selfie camera here. So, let's try it one more time. So please insert storage medium into the USB port to start recording. So yeah, this is me from this camera. So yeah, it's here. Pretty wide angle, like a GoPro. Um, yeah, we can say. Also, you can take like a pictures, but yeah, you need to insert the storage medium here to record. Also here we have like photos from the camera. But nobody took pictures yet. So yeah, I don't think you will do pictures, maybe, maybe. But I think you can also have here snapshot, multiple shots, three images, five, seven, interval between shots. You can set it up, storage medium, uh, the device USB. I think what people would use this mostly is maybe like a quick selfie with friends or I would say zoom calls. So you can do zoom. It's uh, officially available here. Also we have Apple Music, Gallery and Amazon Music. You need to connect your device for this to work. And Gallery, what do we have here? Okay, so it's from the camera. Spotify, uh, Tidal, Tidal. Uh, Android encodes Sudoku. This is like a game which you can play here. So I don't even know how to play this, but uh, I don't know how to play this. But uh, yeah, you can play this here as well. Then we have weather pairs. So this game, play, car selection. Okay. Ah, okay. I know what is this. So, yeah, it's like a game for the kids. You need to remember what is here. So, okay. And we have timer here as well. So this one is here. No, this one is here. And this one was here. The A class A45. Maybe here, okay. So also good to, to train your memory here with this. Okay, so 55, new best time. And you can do for 30, 40, uh, eight and also with you can pair you can play with two people I assume here So yeah, then we have shuffle pack <coughs> So I wanted to show you here the games uh, Okay So how you can play this Okay, probably need here Ah, okay Oh, okay, so I understand now. So yeah, it's a fun game, but I'm not sure how many people will play this more often. But it's certainly a fun game. But I think it should go into the... Yeah, I'm not actually sure why it's not going into the... 
goal here or we should oh oh okay so we should <laughs> i thought that we should eliminate each other so this is actually what needs to go into the okay <laughs> into the uh, uh make a goal all right so yeah it's fun game it's something uh what you can play with friends maybe Not, I'm not really sure how often we will play this, but certainly it's possible to have this uh, when you want to play this. So, something new for the infotainment. Why not? Alright, but I'm not gonna do this uh, for a long time, don't worry. So we can do this for 3 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes. So those are pretty much the games. Maybe you can have different ones. I'm not really sure, but those are which I can see here. Mercedes me. You need to have your ID here as well for this. All right, so this is in terms of the apps. Then we have the store, comfort, info settings devices. So let's check out the comfort. You can have seat kinetics, so the so the seat will move forwards, backwards, the seat and also the backrest. You can position the seat automatically. Then we have ambient lights. So here we have 64 single colors. You can see them here and also here. Very nice and vibrant, I have to say. And then we have the multicolor. So the multicolor is actually these colors. So we have... Uh, Ocean blue. Let's check it out here. Then we have the Miami Rose. Looks like this. In one stripe you can have a pink and also the turquoise and also the white. So all these colors. We will check these when I will drive the car in the night time. Let's leave it on the blue one for now. Then we have the energizing comfort, so this is like a combination of the ambient lighting, the AC, and also like a screen saver here. Then in info, here we have the vehicle information, accelerator brake, and also the angles, and the engine torque, power, boost pressure. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you have AMG, then you have even more information here. Then settings, so you can see the assistance here for the driving, full assistance system driving package uh, this car has. So here we have the active distance assist district, you can stop and read. We have, you can add up steep speed limit, so you can add up speed limit, route based speed adjustment and braking accelerating um, dynamically comfortable or based on the dynamic info. Then you have active steering assist, active lane, all these assistance systems in terms of the camera you can open it and parking it can park uh, itself as well. Parking space in camera image in R. You can set warning tones, audio fade out, time of warning and maneuvering assistant as well. Driveway assist, warning for cross traffic ahead and also behind. In terms of the vehicle. Here we can see the driving winter tail limit, manual shifting, also automatic filling station search. So you can change this as well. Then comfort, occupant protection, open, close and dynamic select as well. In terms of the lights, we have the digital light, dynamic low beam. Then we have welcome farewell protection. So you can have digital rain star wave or off i like the star wave and also the digital range so leave it here then we have the supporting projections spotlight warning alerts then supporting okay so that's that a low beam uh, right side left side is for the uk for example and europe uh, inter exterior lighting you have locator lighting exterior lightning switch of delay and exterior lights switch of delay you can have for uh, for 60, 45, 30, 15 and you can turn it off as well and that's the ambient lighting so in system we have intelligent assistant you can turn the high mercedes off online recognition you can have it activated proactivity don't forget your phone that's actually a useful feature 
and uh, inter assistant driver camera as well. Let's turn on the infotainment uh, once again. We have suggestions here, display, display messages. So you have display brightness, so you can control the driver, central and passenger display from minus 10 to plus 10. You can leave it on plus 10 for the uh, review here. Then we have the uh, option to activate, deactivate passenger display, check it out. And central display, you can also turn this off. Uh, and then the home screen, that's zero layer or classic, and then passenger screen, decorative image. So that's basically like a screensaver for this. So here we have this like a star animation. Then we have a clock here. Then the compass, check it out with the altitude. Here we have the Mercedes Museum in Stuttgart. And this one, not actually sure what is this, maybe like a the plant in Zindelfingen. I'm not sure. Let me know if you know in the comments. And here we can see now the E-Class, the official press photo, and also here uh, once again together with the date. So we can leave the E-Class here. Then graphic goodies. So on certain special days the graphics of the MBUX are changed a little bit. Let us surprise you can turn it off if you don't want. And you need kilometer miles. And you can have additional speedometer, which is really cool if you have it uh, here. So I will definitely use this uh, when I review the cars uh, in future, so I can tell the speed very easily. Then we have languages here. You can choose from your language. I hope your language is here. Many, many languages. So, yeah, as you can see, many, many languages. Also, the Asian languages. Check it out. Then we have keyboards. So uh, you have keyboard languages, that's also useful, then you have so many languages here. And um, in terms of the apps, you have VLD browser, notifi notification permissions and uh, storage, permission storage. So you can see also the data for the VLD browser and information, you can see ordinance manual, system information and legal stuff. Devices, this is for the uh, connection of the devices, like, like a smartphone and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and VLD browser. This is for the yeah. This is for the like a computer, like uh, you have a uh, yeah your computer, but we don't have the internet access. Maybe this will work, maybe not, but you need internet access and then you can have the browser here, which I think it's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically it. You have also here the Mercedes um, Me accounts. So here if you press, you can see the user profile, you can select or synchronize as well. So the buttons here are large, this is for the AC. So we have new animation, check it out, for the low, high and also this animation, check it out. So if I decrease, you can see the animation. If I increase the temperature, also the red animation, it goes from the middle, check it out. So the same as on the S-Class basically. And on the auto, you can have uh, different levels of the fan. So that's stuff which we like. And also for the passenger have also the controls and you can sync the temperatures as well. And max on the windshield. Also here in menu, you can see the defrost of the rear window and close the air recirculation. And you have also settings here. So you can have uh, direct access to the selective function here in the climate bar. Other functions can be found in the air conditioning menu. So recirculate air AC sync so you can change this button. Wow, that's actually cool. So I would have here the recirculate air because when I'm driving behind a truck which has a lot of uh, exhaust black uh, fumes, you can press this very quickly. So check it out. This is really useful, I think, and I would have it like this for sure. So yeah. 
let me know how you like this. I think it's uh, really nice and innovative here for the E-Class in terms of the front section. And also here in the lower bar, we have the hazard lights. So here are the hazard lights from the front, front headlights, also the mirrors, the rear, and the rear together. And also you can mute the volume, you can turn off the display, the passenger display, the central display for the system. And also here we have a volume button, so you can check it out, the entertainment. You can use it like this or then on the screen. All right, guys, so this is how I would uh, more or less sit in the car. So we will check out shortly the rear section, but here for my right leg, uh, this is actually very nicely curved. So I have here uh, very comfortable for my right knee, which I find uh, really something uh, what is a little bit bothering me in the new C-Class can sometimes feel the harsh edge, but here it's very soft. So this is very cool that it's smooth in here uh, as well, so it's much more comfortable for a right leg. For my left leg, uh, it's also nice here, smooth, and uh, lots of space basically here in the new E-Class. So in terms of the headroom, you can see here I have plenty of headroom even here with the panoramic sunroof. I'm 186 centimeters, six feet and one and a half inches. All right, so now let's check out the back seats and also we'll check out uh, what kind of space we have there, the legroom and also the headroom. And let me know how do you like this design in the comment section down below. All right, so here in the back, so in the B pillar, here you can see the vent, also the hook for a jacket. Here is a grab handle together with the light and also hook, another hook for a jacket. We have also here heated seats in the back, Burmester speaker window, we have privacy glass here for the windows and you can also open obviously the door lever. So we have some door packets here. Here we have also place for a water bottle, some door packets and here you can see storage space and also I can tuck my feet underneath the seat, very nice. In terms of the legroom, I have just about uh, very nice in terms of the legroom, more I would say than in the previous E-Class, if I'm sitting relaxed like this, it's very comfortable also. This is like solid, I would say, how much is that? Like eight centimeters, that's about uh, more than three inches, uh, three, four inches. So yeah, very, very cool. Also, you can see here the leather, the Neva gray leather, it's like a light gray. And here we can see the middle armrest. This is a hidden section for your tablet or smartphone. If you press one more time, then we have the cup holders. These are adjustable as well. And you can place two arms here, very comfortably in the middle. Also, here we have the isofix for a child seat and this uh, very nice diamond pattern, seat belts, and you can see how the door looks uh, in the opposite uh, section of the rear. Also AMG floor mats, and you can see here the AC. All right, so here we can see the AC as well. You can control here the airflow. You can also open or close as well here and you have a two zone as well in the back you can also change the auto fan level and temperature uh, as well and also where should the air blow so pretty pretty cool as well and looks very nice um, actually also two illuminated usb-c ports underneath sort of like a hidden so yeah very very nice so in terms of the white camera you can see here how much room do i have here so pretty pretty spacious here i would say definitely i can feel it's more than in the previous generation of the e-class so yeah quite a nice amount of the space and also comfortable if i sit comfortably it's very very spacious but of course if you compare this in the s-class you don't have this uh, amount of the space and also the position it's um, different in, in S-Class is much more comfortable, so uh, this one is not um, like S-Class, I would say closer to the C-Class, but more space than in the C-Class, so 
that's why I would say. And yeah, wide angle one more time. Two arms can fit here uh, very, very easily. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically it. Also, you have here the connection for the Isofix. So you can put it like that and then insert the connections for Isofix. And then if you don't use it, you can just put it back into place. So very nice in terms of the how it's uh, made up. So yeah, very, very cool. Alright guys, so here in terms of the headroom, I have a nice amount of the headroom. I would say this is a nice... I would say this is like a six, maybe eight centimeters. I would say close to like eight. Plenty of headroom as you can see. I'm 186 centimeters, six feet and one and a half inches. So uh, even taller people than me can sit here uh, pretty comfortably. And also I feel pretty spacious here also. Uh, the panoramic sunroof helps with the perception of the how much air and room do you have here. And also here for my arm, it's uh, pretty comfortable here as well. So very, very cool. All right, so let's check out the boot space here. So here we have 540 liters of uh, space. That's 19.07 cubic feet. Here you can see that you can hang the bags, for example. And the boot itself is quite large, I have to say. So you will fit many stuff here, which is uh, great news. On the left side, we can see the button where you can lower the rear seats. Here is some storage on the side of the boot. And on the right side, we have a diffuser box and also a button to lower the seats as well. So here is a diffuse box. I don't want to open this right now, but you can find it there. So underneath the boot floor, we can find some accessories and also the crate, which comes together with the car as well as the emergency vest. So yeah, this is the boot space. You can fold the rear seats with a split of 40-20-40 so you can transport some longer objects in the middle and still have uh, two people sitting in the back. So let me know how to do like this. And we can close the boot here with the button. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know how you like the new E-Class in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.